This is week number one for bucket paper for your math. The first thing you need to do is put your name at the top. And then we're going to read these words down here. Number one. This is the word tallest. A-L-L -L says all. T all est. Tallest. You need to circle which one of these people are the tallest. Is it Al? Jeff? Pete? or Tina, circle the tallest one. Number two, skip counting. Zero, one, two, three, four. You tell me what the next four numbers are, and then we end with nine. Write in those numbers. Remember, you can pause this video if you need some time to write. Number three, money. I see that these are all pennies. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. So each of these is worth one cent. If I count them all up, how many cents do I have? Put that on the line. Number four, time. You have two clocks here. One is digital and one is analog. Digital, analog. It's going to show you what hour it says. Over here it says o'clock, so if I look at my hour, there's my hour hand, what number is it pointing to, or what number does it show? What is the o'clock number? Write it here. Number five, geometry. I have four shapes here. One of these shapes does not belong. Please circle which one does not belong. Remember, you can always pause this video if you need to. Number six, measurement. We're gonna look at how long that worm is. And then over here, you're gonna write how long the worm is. worm is. Tell me how many centimeters. Number seven, addition stories and facts. I have five frogs plus four frogs. And then they write it down here for you. Five plus four equals, and you're gonna tell me how many frogs are all together. Count them or add five plus four. Put your answer here, and also put your answer here to complete the sentence, there are blank frogs in all. Remember, you can pause if you need to write. Number eight, before and after. On these two lines, you're gonna tell me what number comes before three, and then you're gonna tell me what number comes after three. Number nine, subtraction stories and facts. We're going to see how many dogs we started with, five, minus two dogs that are crossed out, and how many dogs are left. Again, you're going to count and see how many are not crossed off. Five, take away two is, write it here, and then again, write it down here. There are blank dogs left, write how many dogs are left. And our final one, number 10, counting place value or temperature. This says color five. So you're gonna take your crayon and you're gonna color five of those dots. When you're all finished, double check that your name is on the top of your paper and then turn it in to your teacher.